Hello, YouTube friends and family. It's Michelle, and I am here today with my first haul of the year. And hopefully these are going to be a little bit consistent because I'm hoping to do go back to my meal planning for the year. And that means doing a monthly meal plan and doing one big, large grocery haul for the whole entire month. And then just getting, like, produce and stuff like that as I need it. Um, because, you know, that's kind of hard to get and expect it to last a month. So, um, other than produce and, like, breads and stuff like that that may go bad, um, yeah, I'm going to get all my other stuff in one bulk uh, grocery haul. Or, you know, if I have to go different places, I try to do it in one day, which is what I did today. So I went to four different grocery stores. I went to Ruler. I went to IGA. Uh, went to Snooks and to Walmart. So I'm going to give you a total of what I spent in each store. I'm going to do each store separately. And then at the end, I'll tell you what I spent in total. Now, keep in mind, it's just me and my two fur babies. So basically, it's me just eating all these groceries. So, um, yeah, so I'm just, you know, buying for one. And a lot of my meals carry over to leftovers, and I can make them last for two to three days, you know. So, I'm lucky in that aspect. But I think I did really pretty good today, considering the price of groceries and stuff. I really watched what I was spending. And like I said, I made my grocery list, and I did not steer away from the grocery list. So, um, I may have bought... I don't even know. I don't even know. I think I did. I think I bought maybe just a couple of things that were not on the grocery list. And they were still things that I would use. Um, I mean, they weren't like splurges or nothing like that. Um, it was just things like I thought, well, if I decide to make this, then I'll have this on hand. Blah, blah, you know. So, um, yeah. So, I did really, really well. And like I said, what I spent as far as what groceries are today... Uh, the prices, I think I did pretty good. So I'm going to get started because these groceries definitely need to be put um, in the freezer and the refrigerator. Um, so I'm not going to ramble on. But like I said, I'm hoping to do these now, you know, consistently. Uh, stay on this consistent, you know, thing. Um, because at the end of the year, I cleaned out my pantry and my freezers and stuff. And I was just so disgusted at the food that had expired. So no more panic buying, none of that. We're going to do a monthly grocery plan or a monthly uh, meal plan. And we're going to make out a grocery thing and we're going to stick to that. And this, you know, buying stuff like, because we're afraid that it ain't going to be on the shelves or whatever. No, I'm not doing it no more. Um, you know, if I get a good, if I could find a real good sell on meat and stuff like that, yeah, I might buy a little extra, but only enough to carry me through to the next month, not to carry me through for a whole year, you know, because I just don't go through it. It's just me, like I said, and I wasn't rotating the food properly, and it just, like I said, it made me sick at the food that was expired. And being wasteful with food is one of my biggest pet peeves. And there I was doing it. So, no more. So, um, let's get to this grocery haul. I'm going to show you first the first place that I went, which was Ruler. I spent $71.82. And I really thought that I did really well there because, um, you know, I got potato. I got a five pound bag of potatoes, um, and I got some meat and stuff. And I just thought that for you know all this, I thought it was pretty good for seventy one dollars and eighty two cents. So I love my ruler. You know, um, it's not the you know prettiest grocery store in the world, but their prices are, you know wonderful and you can get some really really good deals so i absolutely love my ruler so anyway like i said this is ruler 71 dollars 82 so let's get started if you hear me uh if you hear bags it's probably me stepping on bags because they're all over my kitchen floor <laughs> let me tell you this is crazy but i feel good because 
I know I have food for a month. <laughs> you know, it's like, I'm good. So, let's get started. So, back here, like I said, I got a five-pound bag of potatoes. Um, and then here, I got some bell peppers. There are actually five of them there. Four of them are for stuffed peppers. I'm going to make those one night. And then the other one is to cut up to use for different meals. I got some spinach for soup. I got these um, chopped up broccoli pieces. And, man, oh, man, are they little. But what I got these for is I'm going to try to make my own pot pie. And I know broccoli is kind of a weird thing for a pot pie because you usually put carrots and peas. But I don't like carrots and peas. I mean, I like carrots. I don't like peas at all. I do like carrots, but I like them cooked a certain way. And um, I just don't like them in my pot pie. So... At our IGA, they actually have homemade pot pies, and I got one one day, and it was the best pot pie I've ever had, and it had carrots and peas in it, but, you know, picking me, I picked the peas and the carrots out, but um, it also had broccoli and um, zucchini and potatoes, and so I am going to put broccoli, and I tried to find zucchini today, frozen zucchini, and I could not find it, so um, I'm going to be on the lookout for that, but if I don't find it, that'll be fine, I'll just put the broccoli and the potatoes in it, that'll be good enough, but um, yeah, so I got these to put in that, because I thought these would be really good, plus I'm also going to make these little... Um, Oh, there's some kind of, like, uh, chicken roll-ups that I saw, um, If the Creek Doesn't Rise, she did some, and they looked really, really good, these, like, crescent rolls and stuff, and I may put some of these in that as well, so, long story for why I got those, but yeah, that's why we bought those. Uh, back here, I seen Misty XO, love Misty XO. She said these are really good. I think I've had the canned ones. So I don't know that I've had the frozen ones, but I actually like getting uh, the idea of getting the frozen ones. I think they're a little, you know, they're a little more pricier than the canned, but um, it probably evens out by the time you buy enough cans to even what's in the bag. But with it just being me, that way I can just pull out one or two. Because, you know, if you open a can of biscuits, you got to make that can of biscuits. So, um, yeah, so I bought these. And let's see. Then for the meat, I got some chicken. So, like I said, I got, you know, a little bit of meat there. So I got the chicken. And then I got these smoked uh, pork chops, which are so, so good. And... Okay, and then I got some boneless pork chops too, and then this here is just a bag of some oyster crackers, they were sitting on the pork chops, so that was the meat that I got, but you know, I thought that was good, you know. And then back there, I got two cartons of some chicken broth because I'm going to be making quite a bit of soups uh, during the next month because I've decided I want to be a soup concierge or whatever you say, however you say that. You know, I want to eat soup a lot and stuff. And I used to not like soups at all, but um, there's quite a few soups now that I do like. So, and soup will go a long way. So, uh, that's why I got those two uh, cartons. And then I got some of these um, uh, whole potatoes because I thought maybe I might use those in the chicken pot pie. I don't know. Um, I also got some baby potatoes that I might cut up. So I don't know what I'm going to use yet. But I did get those just, you know, just to have them. If I don't use them in that, I'll use them in my green beans. I got some cream of celery because I'm going to be making some potato soup. Uh, diced tomatoes for some chili. Okay, then back here we've got two of the Tito's pizzas. I got two combination. Um, I got a thing of butter because I was running low on that from all the baking I did during the holidays. I got some sour cream. I got some... Philadelphia cream cheese. I still had 
a couple of those still, but uh, with the recipes I'm going to be making, it, I, a lot of them called for cream cheese, so I needed another one of those. I was running low on my squeeze butter. Um, I just use that for like if I have baked potatoes and stuff. I don't use it a whole lot. I know it's not good for you, but um, it's a convenience thing, and you know, like when I have toast and stuff like that, um, that's what I go to, so you know, whatever, it's, you know, if you don't like it, go on, <laughs> so anyway, um, next, I also got some of the, um, cornbread muffins, I like to eat those with my chili, and then here are the pie crusts to make, um, the pot pie, I've never made a pot pie before, so I'm kind of going to be winging it, you know, as to how I kind of think that you would make one, but I did go ahead and get the pie shells, and then, um, I have some cheese here, but I thought I'd better get some more cheddar cheese, because cheddar cheese goes pretty much with everything, and then I needed the sharp cheddar, or, yeah, the sharp cheddar slices for the peppers, so... Again, scoot back here, and that is what seventy one dollars and what did I say eighty two cents I think at Ruler looks like. So I will be back with my IGA haul. Bye bye. Alrighty, folks, I'm back, and this here is going to be my IGA and my Snooks haul because my Snooks haul was rather small, so I went ahead and tacked it on to the IGA, but I'll show you when it goes from IGA to Schnucks. At IGA, I spent a total of $63.86, but I actually saved, um, I think it was $25.07, because my mom lets me, um, I go with my mom on Senior Citizens Day, so I get to use her discount, which helps a whole, whole lot. So, like I said, I say $25.07. Um, you know, if I'd have went any other day, it would have been $25.07 more. So, $63.86 at IGA, and at Snooks, I believe it was $26.04. So... I'm going to show you what I got at IGA first, and then we'll go to Schnucks. So, IGA is over here in the corner. So, first of all, I got some Tropicana orange juice. Um, just orange juice sounded really, really good. And then I got some coffee creamer. This is the vanilla caramel. Um, this stuff is really, really good. I've already got some iced coffee, so I just need a creamer. Um, I got some half and half. That is for some recipes. I got four baking potatoes. I'm going to make um, meatloaf, and I love to have a baked potato with my, meat. my, blah, my meatloaf. Plus, I love to have baking potatoes on hand. These are super easy to just throw in the oven on a night you don't want to cook. And... You can load them with anything, you know, I mean, you can put just sour cream and butter on them, you know, or butter or whatever, or you can, like, put broccoli and cheddar on them. I like to put, um, um, barbecue, pulled pork and stuff on them, so there's lots of different things that you can do, and it's just an easy and quick meal, so I like to have a couple on hand, so I went ahead and picked up four of those, um, I got some of the Kentucky Legend diced ham. I love this stuff to uh, fry up with some bacon and put into omelets. So, so good. Um, you got some of the Nathan hot dogs. I used to get the ballpark beef ones, but now I'm kind of liking the Nathan ones. And I figured since I was going to fix chili, um, one night I'll make some chili dogs. So, I got those. And then they have their little Smokies on sale. So I picked up a package of those. Um, I don't eat these like just regular. I like to put these in seasoning in my green beans and in my baked beans. So, and my great northern beans. So, and lima beans. So pretty much any of my beans. That's how my mom's always done it and stuff. And so I'm just kind of like carrying on the tradition. But yeah, so I like to get a cup or cut a couple of those up in my beans just for seasoning. So I picked those up because they can be expensive for a little bitty package. I mean, they're like over $4, so they were on sale for three seventy dollars So I picked those up. Um, then back here, 
I decided to try these um, one night with something, you know, with an easy dinner or something. And these are the extra crispy restaurant style fries. They say they taste just like McDonald's. So we're going to give them a try. I've never had them, but I've never been disappointed with anything or a rider. So I figure I will like them. Um, and French fries, you know, hey, you can't go wrong with French fries. I got a big old can of Brooks Beans because they only had the big cans. So, but I probably would have just got two little cans anyway if they'd had the little ones. So, probably evens out. So, I got those for the chili. Um, I got some chili ready tomato sauce, some cottage cheese, and, um, let's see. Cream of potato soup. That's going to go, I think, in the pot pie. Like I said, I'm kind of winging that, so we'll see uh, as I make it, what I put in it. Um, I got some of this uh, tomato, the hearty tomato sauce, or soup from Progresso. I think it's Taylor Elmore. She said that's her favorite tomato soup. I've tried the, to the basil tomato from Progresso, and it's really, really good. And it was the first time I'd ever tried tomato soup, ever. And I was like, what have I been missing out on? Because... I think the reason why I hesitated on trying it is because I don't like tomatoes. But you don't like necessarily have to like tomatoes to like tomato soup. So, <laughs> trust me. So, um, I figure if I like the tomato basil, I would probably like this one as well. So, I got that. And then I bought four cans of these because they were on sale actually four for five dollars. But I would have bought four cans anyway. Um, this is the Chili Ready uh, Tomato uh, diced tomatoes from Hunt's, and this is really, really hard to find, especially when chili season is over, but it can even be hard to find during chili season, so, um, and they have it in mild and medium and hot, and I like the mild, so it's really hard to find in the mild as well, so I went ahead and bought the four cans, and I think they had one or two cans left, and one of them was did it up, because I probably would have just went ahead and bought all of them, but I was like, no, I'll leave a couple on the shelf, so I did buy four, though, because like I said, they were four for five dollars, um, I got two more of the Totino's pizzas, because when I was at Ruler, I was really wanting the hamburger ones, and they don't have them, or, well, they didn't have them, they do carry them sometimes, because a lot of places don't carry the hamburger anyway, but uh, then when I went over to IGA and they had them, I went ahead and picked up two of those because those are hard to find sometimes too. So that is what $63.86 buys you at IGA on Senior Citizen Day. <laughs> so that's that. So then we're going to take a trip over here to Schnucks. And the reason why I went to Schnucks was because they had their chips on sale, four for ten dollars, which is a really, really good deal. Um, especially, it's a really good deal for the popcorn, but nowadays it's a good deal for the Lay's potato chips too because they're they're even pricier than the popcorn. The popcorn has been over four dollars for I don't know how long, but the chips now they're up to four dollars too. But Nonetheless, uh, to get them at two fifty a bag for buying four of them, that was a really good deal. So I bought a bag of the plain uh, Lay's and a bag of the uh, barbecue because you know me. Usually, a grocery haul consists of the Lay's potato chips, but since they went up to four dollars a bag, we only well actually I think they're like four and a half, and that's just for the regular size. That's not the party size, but um. They're not a regular in my grocery hauls no more, not unless they're on sale. So then, and I also got two bags of the Smart Food White Cheddar Popcorn because that doesn't go on sale a whole lot. So that was a good deal. And then while I was there, I went ahead and I picked up this. Um, this was not on the meal plan or anything, but I do like to make breakfast burritos sometimes. And this is the salsa that I like to use. And it's like the Schnucks brand. So I did pick that up just so I would have it on hand because I didn't have any. And this again here too was not on my meal plan. And it is a little pricey, but it's my favorite overall Alfredo sauce. It's the Rios Alfredo sauce. I've tried other brands and I just don't like them. So, uh, if I don't make 
the Alfredo homemade, and then I went the rails. And um, my mom brought me over some um, rabbi or no tortellini that I'd had in her freezer. Um, that I'd bought at Sam's that I didn't have room in my freezer for. So I probably will bake that one night and use the rails on that. So that's why I picked that up. And then I had to get some taco sauce because Schnucks usually is about the only place I could find the old El Paso taco sauce. Nobody else has it. And I hate the way that they repackaged it, but it still tastes the same, thank goodness. So, as long as it tastes the same, that will be my taco sauce of choice, as long as I can get it. So, yeah, so that's what, what did I say? <sighs> I forget what I said, $26 and some change buys you at Schnucks. So, not the best deal at Schnucks, but the chips were really good, the, uh, or were a good deal. So these other three things, they're a little, the taco sauce and the uh, Alfredo, it's a little pricey, so, but, you know, it'll be eaten. So, that is, again, my IGA and my Schnucks haul, so I'm going to put this stuff up real quick, and then I will be back with my last stop, which is Walmart. See you in a bit. Hello, folks. Back again. So, this is the last part of my haul. This is from Walmart. And, ooh, I cringe when I say the total on this because it was $139.64. Now, I did get some vitamins, which were a little pricey. And I got Jackson some pads, which are over there to the far right. And, um, otherwise, it's all food. So, yeah, I guess it's quite a bit of food, but still, ooh, I cringe at that total. So, with that total, it made my grand total for today $301.74. So, that is what I spent for a whole month of groceries. Now, um... I'm still going to have to buy, oh, and I also, I forgot, on my IGA haul, I did buy three 12-packs of Mountain Dews, so I forgot to include those because they were in the other room, and I totally forgot I bought those. So, um, yeah, uh, basically the only thing now that I will need to buy for the next month Will be some produce, maybe milk. Um, I might need to buy eggs because I've been on a, um, oh, a um, omelet kick here lately. But I'm trying to weed myself off of that because eggs are just like gold right now. <laughs> you know, it's like looking for that golden egg, I guess, because they're so expensive. Um, and there was one thing, actually there were two things that on my list that I needed that I did not get today. And one of those was the sausage patties. And the other thing was zucchini to put in the um, chicken pot pies. But I'm not too worried about the zucchini, but I would like to find the sausage patties so I can make uh, breakfast and stuff in the morning and stuff. But, um, yeah, um... Other than that, you know, and I'll probably have to buy soft drinks. Um, and um, other than that, I should not need to buy any food for the next month. So, I'm glad about that. Like I said, uh, meal planning and doing your grocery list and stuff like that it definitely saves you money. It may take a little bit of time. But trust me, it is worth it in the long run because you do save money, you don't overbuy, and you're not buying things that you don't need. So that is if you stick to the list and stuff, which I pretty much did today, which I was really proud of myself. So let's get on to this $139 haul so I can put the rest of these groceries away and sit down in the recliner and relax. <laughs> And hopefully, make dinner in a little bit. <laughs> I got all these groceries, and now I'm like, oh, I really don't want to cook. But 
I'm also, um, I haven't officially joined it, but there are some YouTubers here that are doing a um, eat at home all month uh, thing. And so I'm going to try to do that because so far this year I've ate at home. So, and I can do it because I've done it before and it's not hard for me to do as long as I've got a selection of food and stuff here at the house. So, and I definitely have that now. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do, but... I tell you what, calling in a pizza so it sure does sound like a good plan, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it, even if I just have me a little quick sandwich or something or have one of those frozen pizzas or something. It'll probably be something easy tonight, but, yeah, we're going to stay at home, and we're going to stay at home the rest of the month, too, and we're going to eat this food. So we're going to get started on this $139 haul over here, y'all. And so back there we have a half a gallon of milk because I just don't drink milk. I don't like milk. So the only time I ever use milk is when I cook with it or if I eat a bowl of cereal every once in a while. And usually when I eat cereal, I like to have almond milk. But I haven't been on a cereal kick, so you can go almond milk. So if I'm going to have cereal, we're going to just eat or drink regular milk with that. So I got a half a gallon of milk so it doesn't go to waste. I got some, uh, two, there's two in there, the bayonets. Those are for one of the soups that I'm going to make. I'm going to make a little crusty bread to eat with it, so I thought that would be good. Brioche, hot dog buns, yay! I love brioche bread, so I think I've had these before. So, these are going to be super duper good with my chili dogs. Um, I got some of the baby potatoes. I like to have these on hand regardless, but I'm thinking about maybe cutting some of these up, too, to put them on pot pie. I don't know how I decided. Like I said, it's going to be a wing it kind of thing. <laughs> so, it'll be on one of my What's for Dinner videos, trust me, but it could be a hot mess express, you know. Who knows? Um, I got some grapes. I tried one, and it was good, so I just got a little bag, though, so... Got those. I got some Brussels sprouts because I'm going to make dinner one night and put these in the oven with some bacon and cheese and all that goodness and doctor those babies up where they don't taste like Brussels sprouts no more, <laughs> basically, but they're good. Got some shallots because I need those for a recipe. I did get some of the rotisserie chicken because I think this is actually what I'm going to use for but pot pie, so, and also those little croissant things that I'm going to make as well. So, I think I'm going to use this instead of the actual chicken, the chicken breast that I bought. So, that's what I think I'm going to do with that. We'll see. Um, here we've got a couple of yogurts, banana, strawberry. Um, I'm not a real big yogurt fan, but I do like strawberry banana yogurt. And I thought this would be good if I get, like, a craving for something sweet. That way I'm not keeping a whole bunch of sweets in the house and stuff. And this is, you know, halfway good for you, I guess. So then back here, we got some breads to eat with our uh, mini soups that I'm going to be making and some pastas and stuff. So I got some of the Great Value garlic bread and some of the Great Value um, garlic toast. Or well, garlic sticks and garlic toast. So, these are both really, really good. I don't care much for the knots, but the sticks and the bread are really good. So, got those. Got a bag of just the homestyle meatballs. Um, this is the sausage I ended up getting. It's the uh, links, the sausage links. But, like I said, I really wanted some patties. But, those will do for now. So, I did get a bag of those. I've never tried these. The patties are really good. So, I'm hoping the links are just as good, too. I got a bag of some shredded hash browns. I got two things of the croissants. I really only needed one. But, I don't know if you're like me. I have a really tough time with croissants. Um, just falling apart on me and stuff. And, I think it's because of my vision and stuff. And, I don't see the seams and stuff. So... I'm pulling at the wrong spots and stuff. So, I went ahead and got two of them just in case I 
mangle them up or something, I'll have enough to work with to make those little chicken pot pie things. So, hopefully I only need to, just need to use one and then I'll have another extra to do something with. I got some chicken dipping sauce because I was completely out of that. This stuff is so good. Um, they say it tastes just like the Chick-fil-A sauce. I've had, I've never had the Chick-fil-A sauce at Chick-fil-A, but I have had the Chick-fil-A sauce that they carry at the stores, and it does taste just like that, but this is a lot cheaper, so, um, definitely stick with the right value brand. Got some of these bee sticks, oh my gosh, these things are awesome, I love these things, um, a long time ago, I got some of the Frigo cheese sticks, and they had bee sticks in them, and... You basically got, like, four, four beef sticks and maybe four piece, four string cheeses. And you were paying the same cost for that because it had the four beef sticks in it for, like, a big bag of the string cheese. So, I mean, it was, like, ridiculously priced. But the sausage, or the stick, the beef sticks were so, so good. And I tried so many different beef sticks. And I could not find nothing that compared to those. I happened to be at Sam's the last time. And they had these in one of the coolers. Uh, back with the frozen stuff and stuff on InCap. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try those. And oh my gosh, I'm so glad I picked them up. Because I kept going back and forth because I hadn't had any luck with liking any of them. And they are kind of pricey. So, I'm glad I picked them up because they were so good. And, actually, Walmart carries them as well. So, I picked them up at Walmart um, because there's no way I'm going to Sam's this month. I've spent way too much money already. So, no Sam's trip this month. Hopefully, next month, no. So, I picked those up because they are a better deal at Sam's. And, um, then I got, let's see... I got some of the great value hush puppies, and those are to go with these fish sticks back there. Plus, my mom brought me some uh, cod that I had bought at Sam's that was in her freezer. So, I'm going to try that as well. Um, I've never made cod or anything like that, so that's going to be like a, you know, a new thing for me too. But it's already breaded and stuff. I mean, I don't think it's going to be any big deal. I mean, I could either put it, like, in the oven or fry it on the stove top, which I think I'm going to fry it on the stove top because, you know, everything tastes better fried. I know it's not good for you. I may put it in the air fryer. I don't know. But anyway, I thought these would be good with those too. And then I got some of the chicken strips. Now, I haven't had their chicken strips in forever. I know some people say that they've changed. Some people say they don't like the new ones or something, you know. I'm hoping that these people don't know what they're talking about, <laughs> you know. Or, or if they have changed that I like them because um, I love the old ones. So, I'm hoping they're still the same or they taste just as good. So, I did get a bag of those. That's why I got that chicken dipping sauce because these are so good with that. So, I'm going to have those one night with those... Um, no, I was going to say I was going to have those with my, um, uh, Mickey D's fries, but actually I've got some waffle fries that I'm going to have with those. I forget what, I put something down for eating with those Mickey D's fries, but maybe it was the fish sticks. I bet it was. Maybe it was those. So anyway, I got the fish sticks. So we're going to have those two with the fish, or with the hush puppies as well. And then, um... I needed some little bitty tortilla shells because I fixed some tacos the other night and I had some and they were like hard as a rock. So, and I put them in the microwave to soften them up and they just stayed soft for, for like a few seconds and then they went back to hard again. So, I definitely needed some more of those. I was down to just the last few though, thank goodness. So, I didn't throw too many of them away because you get a lot in a package, but... Anyway, I'm always making something with those things, so either breakfast, lunch, dinner, or something. So I got those. This was a, you know, a little bit of a splurge or whatever, but I'll fix these when I make like my pork chops or something. I'll fix this as a side. 
Uh, or even one night if I get hungry, I may just eat it by itself because I haven't been known to do that too. But the macaroni and cheese is so good. I was almost tempted to get the broccoli cheddar soup too, but I was like, no, I've, I've got enough stuff to do me for the month and I'm making enough soups as it is. So maybe next month I'll put that on my grocery list. But definitely not the, um, mac and cheese because it's really good and then something else that's really cheap for a good little sweet treat is the jiffy uh blueberry uh muffins and i usually make two packages of those at a time so i got four boxes of those because they're just good so i got that and my find for the day that I was so stoked that I filed because I really didn't think I was going to find this locally. Um, it is this Southern Biscuit Formula L Biscuit Mix. It's the latest craze on YouTube. Everybody says it's the bomb.com, you know. So I had to get it. Um, it's got like little flakes of butter in it and stuff like the uh, shortening, the butter shortening and stuff. And they say that's what makes it real, real good. Um, I don't know. I think it was Mel at Mel's Kitchen. I think it was her that I seen this on. And, I mean, I've seen it on several YouTube channels, but late or here recently, like the last couple of days, I've seen it on her channel. And she made some kind of chicken and dumpling thing. And, oh, my gosh, it looked so good. And she said that it was delicious, and she thinks it was because of these biscuits. So, anyway, I actually looked on Walmart's uh, website, and it just said that it would ship to me. It didn't say it was available in the store. So, thank goodness Walmart was the liar. Well, actually really wouldn't have mattered, but Walmart was the last place that we went today, because I looked at all the other stores that I went to, I went, I looked at Ruler, I looked at IGA, and I looked at Schnucks, I thought Schnucks might have it, because a lot of times they have a lot of different stuff there, but um, none of them had them, and so I really wasn't, you know, hopeful about finding it at Walmart since I did looked it up on their site and it said it would ship instead of being able to pick it up in the store and lo and behold there it was sitting on the shelf so I was like yes 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 um I do think this is a big you know package of it and stuff I do think that you can actually get it in like smaller packs and stuff and I really don't even know how much this was um so I can't even tell you how much it was but I was just happy to find it. I was just like, can you hear the angels sing? And <laughs> when I see it, you know. But um, it's terrible. Be that happy about food. But yeah, I'm a foodie. What can I say? So anyway, got that. So that was my last thing for food. And then like I said in the beginning, I did get Jackson his pads for his little belly band. And then I got this, which was a big... Um, it was, I think, over $20. And it's some kind of, like, um, medicine for your, uh, if you have nerve damage and I think, like, um, inflammation and stuff like that. And my mom has problems with her legs. And she's been taking this for a couple of weeks now. And it quit. And... I have problems with my legs, and I get this stuff in my legs, like, every other year, maybe, or something, you know, and it's, I think it's just inflammation and stuff, and, um, my doctor prescribes me a medicine and stuff, but I'm trying to avoid going to the doctor, so I'm going to try this and see if it works because she said it definitely worked and she said that she could tell a difference within like um a day or two and she's walking so much better and everything so i'm gonna try this uh it also has turmeric in it and i know that turmeric is good for inflammation because i've been looking that up too because uh, i was gonna get some uh vitamins with turmeric in it so to try those as well so, yeah, hopefully that will work. Cross your fingers for me so I don't have to go to the doctor because I hate going to the doctor. So, that is it. 
that's $139 and some change. And like I said, my overall total of all four grocery hauls was $301.74. So I kind of feel like I did good because my aunt called me yesterday and she's alone as well, just her and her little fur baby. And she told me that she had went to the grocery and she had spent over $400. But she also went to Sam's Club. So, for as well, she went to Sam's Club and to Walmart. So, um, I'm sure Sam's took a big chunk of her money. That's why I said no Sam's Club this month. I may go next month, but not this month. And if I go to Sam's Club next month, then I will definitely go to Aldi to save some coin. Because <laughs> Sam's Club, they just, whew, you, you know when you go to Sam's Club, you're more than likely going to come out of there spending three digits. You know, if you don't, you've got some self-control. That's all I can say. So anyway, that is my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully, like I said, I'll be consistent with these from every month to month. Um, it's probably not going to be at the beginning of the month. Um, because this one isn't already. So, um, it's just going to depend on when I can get somebody to take me to the grocery and is willing to take me to several different places and stuff. Because I used to do the Walmart grocery delivery thing or whatever but with the way that prices are right now you really have to shop the sales and go where you're going to get you know the best deals and right now a ruler really is my best place to shop if i can get stuff there so um and unfortunately they don't have like a delivery service I, you probably do like um what is it, Instacart or something like that, I don't know, I don't know how that works, but, um, you know, I know it can get uber expensive, you know, by the time you pay all the fees and all that and stuff, so I just, you know, would rather try to find somebody to take me, and then that way, I know I get what I want, and, you know, as long as I have a list, I don't have to worry about impulse buying, so, yeah, that's what I'm hoping for the new year, is to continue with this. Um, you know, I don't know how I don't know how I'm not gonna be able to because I just can't afford it anymore. I mean, I, I have to do I had to make changes. I, that was all there was to it. It was like, you know, I sat myself down and put myself in a corner and was like, Hey, you gotta do this or you know, you're not getting out of that corner. And so that's you know, that's the way it is. And I'm sure that's the way it is for a lot of you. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. And please uh, continue to watch. And I'll be back with more grocery hauls and some what's for dinners and maybe some empties or something. I don't know. You know, just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. But thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And I hope you all have had... A wonderful holiday season, and um, I wish you all the best this new year. I mean, we need a we need a good new year. Everybody does. We deserve it. The last couple of years have just been total chaos, so we need a good year. So hopefully, twenty twenty three is good for us all. So with that being said, we'll see you later. Bye bye.